hello beautiful people welcome back to the canada info channel my name is wolo i am a regulated canadian immigration consultant i am based in new brunswick canada and this video is not a typical video where i show my face but because of my commitment to creating useful content concerning immigrating to canada i am sharing something very useful today um, you must have seen the title. It's a very funny name, Slave Lake. Weird name. I am not really comfortable with the name. Um, well, it's one of the communities in rural Alberta. And Alberta has a program called the Rural Renewal Stream, where some communities were chosen to participate in this stream. Typically, you need a job offer to get community endorsement and then you can now apply for provincial nomination under this stream. It's looking like the rural and northern immigration pilot stream, which is the federal program. But in this case, it's not a federal program. It's actually a provincial program and can benefit anybody who is living inside Canada and outside Canada. Typically, you need a job offer to be able to participate in this stream. So um, the town of Slave Lake, as of 2021, um, population census was 6,000. I don't know what the population is as of 2024. So, and it is about a three hours drive from Edmonton. So it's closer to Edmonton than Calgary. And um, they are part of the rural renewal stream. You can see this information on their page, which I am sharing with you today. So basically, the opportunities there are listed on the job site the job website where you have the necessary information on how you can apply for the rural renewal stream the step-by-step -step process is stated there step one is that the employer submits application to join the rural renewal program step two um, the community will review the employer's application step three the community will post the job vacancies on their website which i will share with you shortly then step four, candidates both inside and outside Canada who qualify for the job opportunities, they apply for the job. Step five, the employer issues the job offer to the candidate and it has to be a full-time permanent job offer. Step six, the employer applies to the town of Slave Lake for the letter of endorsement. And then step seven, the town of Slave Lake will issue the endorsement letter to the candidate. Then you have step eight, where the candidates will now apply for, apply for provincial nomination. That is the Alberta Advantage Immigration Program Pool. So once that is done, um, it's a provincial nomination. All you need to do is just look at the requirements and see if you meet the requirements. Now, you can also check the candidate information. For the candidate information, look at the work experience requirement um at the time of submitting the application you must have at least 12 months full-time work experience in an eligible occupation the work experience can be a combination of experience gained in alberta in canada or abroad so typically it is for everybody it is not restricted it says in alberta in canada or outside alberta or abroad so i if you fall into any of this category you can actually apply for this particular program. But like I said, the requirement is getting a job offer. And then your work experience, look at the detailed requirements for the work experience. Uh, for postgraduate work permit holders, it is stated that what you need to meet the requirement. And then the language requirements, education requirements, settlement funds, and all of that. So this is basically what is needed for the program as a candidate. And then if you want to see the job opportunities that are listed under this stream, you go to the job posting board and you will see all the jobs that are listed under this stream. There is a position for store manager. I, I also want you to, before I go into that, I want you to take note of this information at the top. It says, if the job posting link has expired, please contact the employer directly to inquire about current employment opportunities. Anybody that must have had a consultation with me in the past concerning searching for jobs in Canada, I usually tell them to always call the employers. 
because if you call the employers you have a first-hand information and you have the opportunity to filter out an employer that is serious in hiring you versus an employer that will just dump your resume so instead of applying online and just sitting down and relaxing it is better to call the employers please take this advice from me so these opportunities are there you have dollar tree you have or you have store manager position you have food counter position you have administrative assistant you have administrative assistant office supervisor financial analyst i'm even surprised there is if there are two financial analyst positions now you have sales associate administrative officer truck dispatcher long haul truck driver shift manager collection specialist um retail store supervisor food service supervisor administrative assistant lots of administrative assistant jobs kitchen helper food counter attendant and receptionist so all these all these opportunities they are actually there and i want you to take advantage of them if you are in canada you are finding a way to become a permanent resident this is one fast pathway of becoming a permanent resident if you are outside canada the same thing too all you need is submitting your application please ensure you have a canadian standard resume before you apply um there are lots of um online samples where you can get canadian standard resumes and i want you to take advantage of of this opportunity and um, get your permanent residency status so this is information i said i was going to share today thank you so much for watching and hope to see you in my next video bye bye Happy people, the true north or the land of freedom. Oh, oh, oh. Here we are, from far and wide we stand on God. Oh, can I... Happy people, the true north or the land of freedom. Oh, oh, oh. Here we are. From far and wide we stand on God Our home and a discipline in God we will trust We the glow in that we will see the rise O Canada, O Canada, O Canada, O Canada, O Canada